Everybody know what to do when everything goes right. Everybody know to show up and give everything they got when the sun shines. Everybody, when they get what they want, they're gonna come and they're gonna be great. But it's very few people that reach deep down and got the character that in the midst of opposition, in the midst of a challenge, to look at it with the right perspective and not only look at it with the right perspective, process it the right way and figure out a way to use it. What is it that will make it worth it for you? When you want to give up and things are working against you to face the rejections, what is it that will make it worth it for you to brainstorm and not be intimidated and say, I can do this. What is it that will make it worth it for you to make know your vitamin that you become empowered by it? What is it that will make it worth it for you to raise the bar on yourself and say, I got some more stuff in me when you want to keep driving past the office because of the stress? What is it that will help you get back up again? Some of us choose to stay down, but it's that motherfucker who constantly gets up as fast as they can, those are the motherfuckers that make it in life. All you do is you fall down, get back up again, fall down, get back up again, fall down, get back up again. That's how you win. You've got to activate the thinker in you. Don't allow your emotions to control you. We are emotional, but you want to begin to discipline your emotion. If you don't discipline and contain your emotions, they will use you. You want to monitor your inner conversations, the things that you say to yourself. You want to watch them, and in watching them, you want to take charge. Oh, you really don't feel like it. You really don't need to do it. Forget all that. That's that inner conversation. Oh, you don't need to worry about trying to go into your own business. Forget that. You can't do that. What if you lose everything you've got? That inner conversation that stopped you from doing the things you want to do less, don't do that. Forget all that. And then I said, shut up. You'll get scared sometimes. Your mind will go blank on you. You've got to learn to stand up to yourself inside yourself. And short circuit, override that conversation that's always going on. 85% of what that conversation will tell you is negative. It will tell you you're tired when you really are not tired. It will tell you you can't do it. It will fill you with fear. So you've got to watch that conversation. And when you find it going on, you've got to stand up to it and say, I'm going to do this anyhow. I'm afraid, but I'm afraid not to do it. And I'm not going to let you stop me. You got to stand up inside yourself sometimes and say, shut up. Some people you will allow to unnerve you. You can't do this. You don't have everything it takes. I shut up. I have got to do it. That's why you've got to learn to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to stand up inside yourself, working on yourself, watching that inner dialogue. It will determine the quality of your life. The biggest challenge that you will have in life is you. Because there's no enemy within. The enemy outside can do us no harm. You've got to sell yourself every day on your abilities, on what you're doing, on the goal that you want to reach. You're bombarded with negative stuff every day that beats you down and you will find yourself unconsciously engaged in self-destructive behavior. If you don't program yourself, life will program you. Don't complain. Don't talk negative. Average people use their time to complain. Average people talk problems. The greats talk solutions. Live your life with passion, with some drive. Decide that you're going to push yourself. You want to live life with energy and passion. You want to be happy. You got a lot to be thankful for. Most people won't do that. Most people give up on themselves easily. You know the human spirit is powerful? There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. You got to get this beast mode. Everything about you has to say, I ain't playing. If it's to have, I'm going to get it. And I ain't leaving none of it behind. It's my beast mode. If you want to get your butt out to bed, ride from sunup to sundown, you can have the life that other people dream of. Every day in Africa, in the safari, a lion wakes up. And every single day in the safari, a gazelle wakes up. Now, this is critical. What's the difference between a gazelle and what's the difference between a lion? What I discovered is the gazelle is running from something. So as long as the lion is chasing the gazelle, the gazelle is running. But as soon as the lion stops chasing the gazelle, it stops. 
And that's a lot of you in this room. You will run, you'll do what you're supposed to do. As long as you're getting pushed, as long as you're getting motivated, as long as somebody is encouraging you, as long as somebody's coaching you, as long as somebody's pushing you, as long as somebody's prodding you, you're doing what you're supposed to do. As long as somebody's calling you, as long as someone is enticing you, as long as somebody's giving you rewards, you're moving. But as soon as that stops, you stop. I asked myself the question about the lion and I said the lion is not running to be rewarded. The lion is running to eat. Because the lion realizes when he kills the gazelle, not only does he eat the gazelle, but he brings it back home. So you've got to ask yourself, what's your why? What motivates you? What pushes you? What drives you? And if that thing is internal, if nobody has to call you, if nobody has to prod you, if nobody has to reward you, if you are self-motivated and self-regulated, you can have it, you can be it, you can do it. When you are a true hunter, you don't go by time, you go by the gazelle. You don't hunt from eight to three, why? Because the gazelle may not be open from eight to three. You hunt until you get a gazelle and you don't stop until you get one. And then you get another, and then you get another, and you get another. Listen to me, a nine to five person, they make a sale and they're excited. When you get to my level and you get one thing, then you try to get to the next level, then you try to get to the next level, then you try to get to the next level. A true hunter hunts. A true hunter's goal is not the prize. A true hunter's goal is to hunt. That's what they live for. They live to hunt. They don't just live to catch it. It's the whole process. I'm saying that some of you in this room, you might not be a lion yet. You might have small beginnings. You might not have a lot of money. You might not have a lot of resources, but there's no excuses. And I need you to understand, for those of you who are 70% beast mode, 30% gazelle, that's just enough for that other person, I'll do you. There are only 86,400 seconds in a day, and you gotta not only operate in them, you gotta do it quick. You gotta do it fast, you gotta do it in a hurry. Why? Because there's somebody else who's on the same track you are. Somebody else, they're on the same path that you are. It's somebody else just like you trying to do it, and sometimes they're working just as hard as you're working. They're putting in just as much sweat, just as much tears, just as much blood, but you just gotta do it what? You gotta do it faster than they do it. You gotta do it quicker than they do it. Are you listening to what I'm saying? That's why I wake up at three o'clock in the morning, because when you're getting up at six, you might be smarter than me. You might. You might have more privilege than me. You might. You might have more resources than me. You might. But I'm gonna get up earlier than you and I'm gonna do it faster than you do it. So by the time you get up with all your resources, by the time you get up with all your privilege, by the time you get up with all your stuff, I've already finished the race, are you hearing me? It's hard, yup, it's hard, yup, it's difficult, yup, why? Because the process is weeding out the weak. It's weeding out the weak. And so sometimes you got to play hard, you got to play physical, you got to play tough because the game itself is tough. The game itself is hard, but I know you got what it takes. Listen to me, this is how you do it over six, seven years ago with no money, no human resources, no building, no funding, no support. The first thing we did was we dreamed, we wrote the dream down, we slept the dream, we ate the dream, we rehearsed the dream, we looked at the dream, we talked about the dream, we slept with the dream, we woke up to the dream, we wore the dream, and now boom, it's our reality. And for some of you, you stop dreaming. You dream for a week and you stop because things around you don't look good. You dream for a month, then when you get hit in the mouth, you quit and you give up. You dream for a while and when people tell you crazy, when people tell you stupid, and when people tell you it can never get done, you stop dreaming and you go back to knowledge. And I dare you to use your imagination. I dare you when you broke to use your imagination. I dare you when you rich to use your imagination. I dare you under every single circumstance Keep dreaming, keep looking at your dream, keep focusing on your dream, keep going after the dream because that's where true success is.